Hi everybody and welcome, it's Scarlet Pete here on my self-sufficiency channel. I thought I'd just give you a quick demonstration of our cow's running leads. Now we have a very, very long cable that goes along here and then connected to the cable we have a chain. The cow walks up and down, left and right, both sides of the main cable and can go eat on a much further distance and much freer, more like being um, free in the field but sadly we don't have any fencing here so she has to be tethered to keep her off the chemicals of the sprayed fields over there and I think we'd get in trouble as well if she started eating their crop. So hopefully she's going to demonstrate nicely the running lead in action for us. Are you going to walk on there missus? So both sides it can go for quite, she can stretch all the way over to that side and all the way over to this side. There you go, she demonstrates it beautifully for us. And this section here runs up and down. Now when you have a running lead you must check that both sides of the chain has a swivel. And by a swivel I mean this here. You see? So the chain can't get tied up. And then this is how it's fixed onto here. Now these get cut by the cable, going up and down constantly like that. So we could have a, a pulley thing on here, but we find this is absolutely fine. And then the rope cuts this, not this cuts the rope. So it's a softer metal. So every year or so it needs changing. Now here we're right at the end. It's pinned into the ground here and this pin is buried into the grassland so that it can't have the chain wrapped around it. It also has a swivel here so this this main rope can't get damaged and we also have these eyelets put on them so that it's, um, it's a professional job. And then that goes all the way right over to here somewhere. You joined us, Sissy, have you? Jasmine, are you coming to say hello again? Hello. She loves people, don't you? Hello, yes, you want a stroke, I know. You're a nice girl. Now, being a Holstein, she's much thinner and rangier than I would like any cow to be. But that's the nature of the breed, sadly. They are skin and bones, a milk, meat, milk machines, aren't you, hey? Now, she might be two months in preg in in calf, I'm not sure. We've waited quite a while to put her back in and she's following me. On her running lead, yes? Do you want another cuddle? Oh, dear, dear, dear. She's not going to let me go till she gets a lot of cuddles. Come on then, Are you coming? Have you had enough now? I think she likes this system. I should add the story of this cow, Jasmine. She was wanted by the police. She's a very, very naughty cow in a large herd of cows. She can't be held back by any fence, by any electric fence. And she would be the ringleader that would take the control of the herd. She would walk up to the electric fence, go through it, break it. And once she'd gone through, the rest of the herd knew they were safe to follow. She would take them across the main road, where the lorries and everyone goes on. She would take them across the, the um, train track. And then the poor woman that used to own her would then have the police on the phone saying, your herd of cattle are on the tracks again, or on the road, or crossed the road. Then she would have the uh, lovely job of getting them all back. Poor woman. So, for her, this cow, this is a really good system because she's allowed to have freedom without being able to escape and she can be tethered and kept safe and not disappear. So here we are right at the other end of the um, running lead. We've got another stake in the ground which has got a round loop on. That, the stake goes through that. Then we've got another twizzly bit here, swivel, and we've got the end. Now when we get ourselves together and the website sorted and Etsy stores opened, I will be putting these kits together to sell because 
not everybody is capable of making the ropes and getting all the supplies together so we will be selling those along with the cow's head collars that we have which are quite different to horsey ones very thick and very strong what a life eh? it's a beautiful world today So I hope this helped you. Any questions on tethering cows or goats or whatever animal you're going to tether, there's lots of things about doing it the right way that we've now found out. So um, give us a shout. Let's have a comment from you and ask the questions. I have found really the longer the main cable, and it has to be strong, remember you've got to have a lot of strength there for a big animal, the longer the cable the better because then you don't have to move it so often. And what we do to move it is our trusty sledgehammer. So we just tap the um, head of the stake that's in the ground with this at the four points of the compass around it and then that will ease out of the ground then quite easily the stake and then we move it over to, well this, this field now is not big enough to go because that's the width she can go, but you would move it over and the cow would make it quite visible where she's been because there'll be a grazed line each side of the um, the, the running tether so we would then put her on the other side so the fresh grazing is the the, the old line when the forget fresh grazing beginning line is where the extent of her chain can tow to so she could then cover the whole field really really well so thanks for watching i shall disappear and stop rabbiting on other animals to go and visit please watch my channel see what do you think of it let me know take care bye bye